All right, what's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, honestly, this video is gonna be a little bit tough to get through because the topic we're about to talk about makes me really, really sad. And uh, the news actually came out sometime yesterday, but I was waiting to see if we would get any more information or if there would be any new developments. But at this point, it seems like we're not gonna learn anything else until the next JP update comes out. And um, as such, I wanted to make sure to get this video out to you guys, my subscribers, to ensure that everybody is up to date and is fully aware of what's about to come, okay? So uh, essentially, like I said yesterday, there was this in-game notice that uh, appeared on the JP side of the game that says something about the fact that rooted devices, jailbroken devices, and uh, basically emulators and mods will no longer be usable once the next JP update comes out. And when you first read that on the surface, it doesn't seem so bad, of course, for people that rely exclusively on emulators to play Dokkan, it's gonna suck. But for the average Dokkan player, right, for the majority of the player base, it's not gonna be really a huge issue, at least on the surface. But what a lot of people might not realize is that this update is gonna have far greater widespread implications across the Dokkan community, at least for people uh, like me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys who, you know, rely on a lot of other resources for uh, information about the game. Okay, so uh, let's quickly pop over to Twitter here. And Hydros has this tweet that says private servers, bots, emulators, mods, all will be killed off due to this safety net implementation. There can be some workarounds maybe for private servers, but in my opinion, not worth it. Means no more early showcases and Dokkan content getting a hard reboot. So yeah, as you can see, with this update, private servers are basically dead. Okay, I mean, he does say, there's maybe a chance you can work around it and still, you know, make them available. But in, I know Hydros is working on a lot of different things right now. He's very focused on the new My Hero Ultra Impact game and some other stuff with like Five Night Gaming. So it doesn't seem like he's really super interested in trying to keep it going. And uh, I know there's other bots out there or other private servers as well. And those will probably be phased out with this new update as well so uh, in terms of yeah early showcases you see from people like truth and uh you know i don't really do them anymore but a lot of other dokkan youtubers that's probably not gonna be a thing anymore okay so that's one thing but on top of that this update is also gonna basically kill data mining for this game so in terms of like people going into the game files and extracting assets um, extracting, you know, uh, animations and just stuff early before they actually get implemented into the game. That's also most likely, it's not guaranteed, not 100%. Like I said, there are still a few things that we don't know about. Like we don't know exactly how it's going to work, but based on what we see right now, based on what we know right now, it's not going to be a thing anymore. Data mining is going to be dead. Okay, so what that means is some of the resources that we, at least I, use on a daily basis, like the Dokkan Wiki, like DBZ Space, and also beloved data miners like I Seriously, like Kawaii, like uh, Team Dokkaner. Actually, Dokkaner is more of a leaker, I guess. So is I Seriously. Like, you know, if these guys have their inside sources, then they'll still probably be able to do that stuff. But, you know, people like Dokkan Air, uh, my boy Proton10MG, and so on and so forth. Like these guys that go into the game, find these assets and allow us to see the animations, listen to the active skills, uh, the OSTs and all that stuff before they're released in the game. Um, that's not gonna happen anymore, right? So we won't be able to see these things until either Bandai slash Akatsuki uh, reveals them themselves on like Twitter or something like that, or until they get into the game. So, um, yeah, it's kind of sad, kind of sad. I mean, there is an argument to be made that it's actually not such a bad thing, 
right? Because I'm interested to see what it's like. You know, I'm interested to see like how uh, different the, the feel will be when a new unit comes out, when a new LR comes out, and we learn about it for the first time, you know, in game, as opposed to days in advance. And, uh, you know, as far as like those streams that they do, the, uh, you know, what do you call them? Uh, Dokkan Now programs and all that stuff. They can't really be ruined anymore by an early data download, because even with a data download, nobody's going to be able to go in and actually find these assets and reveal it to us early before the official reveals, right? So that's going to be nice too, because as you guys might remember, for the sixth anniversary, they did exactly that. They released the data download like two hours before the, um, the live stream and uh, the hype was all gone, right? They completely ruined the surprise. Everybody already saw the animations, or most people already saw the animations beforehand, and uh, that kind of sucked. So I, I guess the hype for those things will be very much real again. But nonetheless, man, uh, you know, DBZ Space going away, the Dokkan Wiki going away, uh, data miners, uh, some of them I heard are shutting down their, their channels, or shutting down their um pages uh like dokkan assets i'm not really sure what he's gonna be up to but either way like uh there are gonna be some big changes coming to the game for sure especially for people like us that are like super into you know the nitty gritties of the game and like going into like these websites using these resources um they'll be missed man they really will, and and the reason it's so sad is because they've just been around for so long. You know, the Dokkan Wiki I've I've relied on for for so long now. DBZ Space has been such a valuable resource. Uh, of course, all the data miners, all the leakers have been such valuable resources, and uh, to see them kind of being phased out by this next update, it's gonna be sad to see. It's gonna be sad to see. Of course, the game will still be around, right? It's not like Dokkan's going away. Like, I feel like I'm I'm almost talking about it as if Dokkan's going to get shut down. It's not. Like, the game's still going to be here. We're still going to be around for a very long time. I predict, as I said in a stream recently, that Dokkan will still exist for at least another three, four years. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised at all if we get to the 10th anniversary. I think that's a real, very, very real possibility. But, um, yeah, this is a very major update for sure. That's, uh, gonna bring some pretty big changes as far as, like, the player experience goes. I guess for people who don't use, like, these websites and don't look at Twitter and stuff like that, it doesn't matter, right? But, um, yeah, it's just gonna be different. It's just gonna be different. I mean, uh, hopefully in the long term and it, it ends up being a, a change for the better right and it ends up being something that brings more hype back into the game um but it remains to be seen i think uh the only way to know for sure is to kind of just wait for the update to come out and see what kind of long-term implications it has um and one thing i still want to mention of course i still want to make sure i get out there is like none of this is 100 percent, right we're still we're still missing some information, I think, and maybe with this update, uh, it's not as bad as we think, and people can get around, you know, whatever changes they make or whatever safety net precautions they take, and uh, are still able to get the asset somehow. I'm not really sure that how that works because I don't really know anything about data mining or anything about the whole private server. Uh, workings you know like I, i'm just very dumb when it comes to that stuff so maybe it can be very easily worked around right i'm sure there's some very brilliant people out there with a lot more skills than i have um that can maybe try to get around it but for now it's not looking good it's not looking good so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna tentatively say goodbye to deep z space to you know data miners to the Dokkan Wiki, and um, yeah, I guess thank all of them for, for their dedication, for their hard work this whole time, giving us the information we needed, the assets we needed, all that stuff, 
I mean, it's gonna make it tougher for, for me personally too, or people like me, like content creators. Um, when it, you know, when it comes to like getting information, like Dokkan Wiki made it so easy to find like what's going on in a certain celebration. Obviously, like looking back into the past to see how many stones we got for a certain anniversary or a major celebration. Um, obviously, getting assets from DBZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki to use for thumbnails and and all that stuff. Like that's also gonna suck too, man. <laughs> but of course, that's much much more of a um, unique you know, problem for content creators. And it's not really gonna affect you guys too much, but that's also, of course, something that I'm thinking of as well. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the situation right now. There's not really much else to to add from there. Uh, I feel like maybe I'm forgetting something, but the main takeaway is, yeah, um, with this safety net update coming up soon, uh, no more private servers, no more bots, no more emulators, no more mods. No more DBZ space, no more data mining, and uh, Dokkan Wiki is gone as well, most likely, most likely. So um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that. Are you sad about it just like I am? Are you happy about it? I've seen some people trying to put a positive spin on it, right? Trying to say it's a good thing. It's going to bring hype back to the game. I saw my boy No Lara make a video about that. So um, all that could be very true. All that could be very true. It just... It remains to be seen exactly what happens, so I guess we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see. And that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully this didn't ruin anybody's day. It slightly ruined mine. I'll be honest. Like I'm a little bit sad about it. As I said, like like it feels like the end of an era. It feels like the end of an era in Dokkan. But every end leads to a new beginning. Something like that. I'm not really good with these expressions, but, you know, like, it's also the start of a new era in Dokkan, if you think about it. So, uh, hopefully, things things work out. And that's it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows if you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>